getting results tonight when it comes to keeping you safe. For more than a year now, we've been tracking problems with the city of Orlando's security cameras. Yeah, they're called iris cameras, and at one point, more than half of them were not working. Now, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer is using these cameras as a victory in his most recent campaign ad. News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval has been tracking these cameras since the very beginning, and he spent today getting answers. So, Eric, what did you find out? Well, you know, we've been watching Buddy Dyer's campaign commercials, and you'll see they showcase these iris cameras throughout the city of Orlando. I asked the mayor's office today how he could be touting these as a success when they've been plagued with so many problems. I found out our stories on this are getting results. The problems that plague the security cameras that sit high atop light poles and traffic lights in the city of Orlando first came to light last year. That's when Orlando police told us this iris camera was not working and it failed to capture a deadly shooting that happened outside the Vixen nightclub downtown. News 6 investigated and found out 36 of the city's 130 cameras were not working in July of last year. That number jumped to 79 the next month. That's more than half the city's iris cameras shuttered after construction crews cut a fiber optic line. And when we checked in February of this year, 43 cameras were down. Orlando, it's working. So why is Orlando's mayor now touting these cameras as a success in his latest commercial and using our website, clickorlando.com, to prove his point? Because our mayor, Buddy Dyer, demanded the use of technology like body cameras for police and crime surveillance cameras to crack down on drug dealers and seize illegal guns. We turned to City Hall today to get answers and found out, since our stories on these iris cameras aired, new procedures are being put in place. As of right now, new technology is now digitally monitoring each camera every half second, and Orlando police will be notified if any of them are down. Other changes are in the works, including changes in permitting for construction crews and possible fines if those crews damage a line and don't report it. Orlando police are also adding a new position to oversee all of the department's cameras and make sure all of them are up and running. Now, the city of Orlando just installed about eight more of these iris cameras in the Paramore area of Orlando. I asked the city today if all of these cameras were operational. They haven't given me an answer. Live in the newsroom, Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt, Lisa. Eric, thank you.